Aguayaku presents Constructing a Water Well Hand Pump, an inexpensive project using basic hardware store materials. In 2008, the total cost in Bolivia is approximately $50 US. Step 1 Constructing the Piston. Here's a look at the completed piston, and here's an exploded view of the materials you will need. You may want to pause the video here to take notes. The bolt and the steel rod are welded together as shown. The 3 quarter inch PVC coupling is cut in half. Here's the completed view. Two foam seals are cut from a sandal. The larger seal should fit tightly inside a 1 and a half inch diameter plastic pipe. The smaller seal is approximately 1 inch in diameter. The larger seal is stretched onto one end of the nipple and the half couplings are tightened using a pipe wrench. Three triangular slots are cut into one end of the coupling assembly. Here's a close-up of the cut slots and the larger seal in place. First, a washer is added to stop the piston from sliding too far down the shaft. After the first washer, the piston is placed on the shaft and then a bolt is screwed on until it stops at the base of the threads. Next, a washer is added and then the smaller foam seal is fitted around the shaft. After the foam seal, another washer is added and then two more nuts are screwed on, completing the piston. The ridges of the PVC coupling should be ground off. Also, the foam seal should be ground down so that it fits snugly into the one and a half inch polyethylene plastic tubing. And here's a view of the completed piston. Step 2. Constructing the piston rod. Construct the pump handle connection using the indicated steel pieces welded into a U-shape and attached to a 3-foot steel bar. On the other end, weld a 5-inch by 5-8-inch piece of steel rebar. Step 3. Assembling the piston rod. The piston and the piston rod connect to each end of a 1 half inch by 35 foot polyethylene tube. 6 inches at the end of the tube is heated over a fire. The end of the piston is forced into the tube. The, the piston is firmly connected to the tube by wrapping rubber strapping tightly around the end of the tube and cooling with water. The same procedure is used to connect the piston rod to the other end of the 35 foot tube. Step 4. Assembling the pump housing. A one and a half inch by 40 foot polyethylene tube is used to make the pump housing. 9 inch and 12 inch pieces are cut from the 40 foot tube and one end of each piece is threaded. These two pieces will later be joined with a one and a half inch T coupling. One end of the 40 foot tube is also threaded. Here are the pieces for the one way retention valve assembly. The 6 inch PVC pipe is threaded on both ends and wrapped with Teflon tape. The pieces are assembled. Here's a view of the completed retention valve assembly. To install the retention valve assembly, first heat the non-threaded end of the 40-foot tube. 
Insert the retention valve assembly into the end of the tube and wrap with rubber strapping. Step 5. Installing the completed pump. The 9-inch tube and the T-coupling are threaded onto the piston rod assembly. Next, the piston is inserted into the opened end of the 40-foot tube. The T-coupling and the 9-inch piece are threaded onto the 40-foot tube. Finally, the 12-inch tube is installed. The entire pump assembly is inserted into the well casing. The well casing is secured to a post and the pump lever is installed. Ideally, a concrete pad will be poured to ensure proper sanitation. Questions concerning the construction of this pump can be directed to beamsclan at yahoo.com. For a more in-depth look at constructing this pump, including photos with step-by-step -step instructions, please visit our website, aguayaku.blogspot.com.